Hi, Chef Naila here, and in this video we're going to be focusing on beef in the form of spaghetti and meatballs, which I like to refer to as a family favorite because most people that like meat do like spaghetti and meatballs, and fun fact, this recipe can be adjusted for non-red meat eaters, so you could use ground turkey or ground chicken as a substitute for the ground beef if you choose to do so. Uh, so we're going to start off by dicing our aromatics and then dicing up our tomatoes. We're going to use some small dices and some larger dices today, larger dices for our tomatoes. Chop up our herbs and then mix everything together with our beef. We're going to be using about a pound of ground beef. I'm going to stick it in the fridge and then we're going to form our meatballs into about one ounce to one and a half ounce meatballs and then we're going to move over to the stove and start cooking. So what we're going to do now is sear off our meatballs before we put them in the oven to cook all the way through. We're just going to add a healthy glug of olive oil to the pan. Just we want to hear that sizzle when we put them down. And we want to keep in as much heat as possible, but still give it some space to get rid of some of the smoke because we don't want our meatballs to be too smoky. So we're gonna let those brown on that side for maybe a minute or two before we go turn them. And then we'll do that on each side and then we'll stick them in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes or so. And while they're in the oven, we'll be working on our sauce and our spaghetti. Turn the stove on to high or a medium high. Let the base of that pot get nice and hot before we add some oil and about a tablespoon of butter to the bottom of the pot. Add our aromatics, let them get very fragrant and nice and translucent before adding our tomatoes, tomato paste, uh, salt, pepper, water, and then any herbs and spices. It's important to note that you can substitute water for chicken stock or beef stock or any stock that you prefer. In this instance, I have chicken stock, so I'll be using chicken stock today instead of water. It allows for a richer sauce. It's not necessary, but it is an alternative that you can do. I'm gonna get a teaspoon. I'm gonna start off with a teaspoon of sugar. So those two teaspoons of sugar actually worked out quite well for my sauce. However, depending on what tomatoes you're using, what tomato paste you're using, you should keep in mind that that may change. So you might need to use less or you might need to use more, which is why I say add it gradually. But because this is a tomato paste that I've used before and these are the tomatoes that I always buy, I knew I could start off at two teaspoons of sugar. We're going to grab our tongs and we are going to place our meatballs back into that sauce. We're going to add just enough water that the sauce is covering the meatballs just a little bit more than it was before. And then we are going to cover that down and let that simmer for another 15 minutes, at which point we will be good to go. So as we're placing our spaghetti and meatballs uh, to meet our 500 to 700 calorie restriction, we're gonna pay special attention to how much we're putting on our plate. So we're gonna put about a cup of cooked spaghetti on our plate. Uh, that's about half a cup there. So we want about two tongs. inside of our mold, let her do what she does. And then we're gonna do three meatballs, three to four meatballs. And that will put us in our 500 to 700 range in terms of our meat to starch ratio. And then of course, we're gonna take our ladle 
And we're gonna give ourselves a good amount of that sauce to eat with our spaghetti. Include some of those tomatoes. Garnish. And for a little extra, we're gonna add some freshly grated Parmesan on top. There we go. There is our spaghetti and meatballs, which closes off today's video.